if your computer is running slowly there's a chance that you haven't got enough RAM inside your computer so first of all just check to see how much RAM you've got you can go down to the search box down in the bottom left hand corner and if you just type in about this is a uh, Windows 10 but you can do the same with Windows 7 as well or 8 and if you click on about your PC it will tell you how much RAM you've got installed in your computer now Windows 10 needs 2 gigabytes to run just to stand still if you've got 4 gigabytes inside your computer your computer experience is still going to be quite slow so I recommend increasing the size of your RAM which is going to involve buying a module and putting it into the computer it's fairly easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it first of all what you need to do is you want to find out the exact specification of your RAM inside your computer it doesn't actually tell you this on the about my PC page so we're going to close this down and what we're going to do is we're going to go to a website called Mr Memory so we're going to type in Mr Memory we're going to download the Scan My PC tool here. So put the pointer onto this link here. Download this tool onto your computer. Scan My Computer. If the program doesn't automatically start, you can go to your downloads and start it from there. So let's view the results. Okay, so these are the results. It tells us we've got four gigabytes of installed RAM. Memory type is DDR3. We can see more details here by show advanced details. And this tells us exactly what we've got installed here. It tells us the speed of the RAM we've got here. And what we can do is we can also select the particular model we've got here. If you want to know more information, which we'll do. So this is the 5510. And what this tells us is it tells us the maximum memory that we can install in this computer so we've got, currently got four gigabytes of RAM the maximum memory we'll take is eight gigabytes we've got two memory slots so we potentially we can have two banks of four inside the con inside the computer so we've currently got four gigabytes in there but what we could do is buy another four which will take it up to eight gigabytes and then you've got a computer that's going to run at a decent speed mr memory sell ram on their website as well and i'll give these guys a heads up i don't work for these people but uh, you i recommend that you buy the uh, the memory sticks from these guys if you live in the uk but if you don't you can buy the ram from amazon uh, and i'll put a link down below make sure that when you're searching on amazon or wherever wherever it is you're buying your ram from you want the this exact specification to be on the safe side otherwise you can copy and paste this into Amazon and you can go and buy the RAM from there now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the laptop and I'm going to show you how to put the RAM inside so you've bought your RAM module and you're ready to put it inside your computer most laptops are pretty much the same so what we're going to do is we're going to take the screw out of this back cover here you may have more screws in your laptop depends which model you've got and I'm just going to open this back panel up take this cover off <clears throat> and this is where the current RAM modules are situated here what we want to do is we want to take out one of these here it does help if you've grounded yourself first if you're wearing an anti-static wristband if you work in the trade if you're at home you probably haven't got that luxury so what I recommend that you do is uh, touch a radiator be careful of carpet because that does create static once you've uh, discharged yourself of any static it's safe to use them unclip these two clips here by pulling them away from each other and this allows the RAM module to just gently pull out like that and then we're going to take our new RAM module it's a case of just putting it back into the socket uh, now you need to be careful when you put this back in just take a look inside the computer and you want to make sure this lined up correctly so it needs to go in at an angle so it needs to go in at about a 45 degrees angle there okay so line it up with the socket 45 degrees and then if you just push it down you want to hear the the click as it goes back in if you don't hear that click or if it feels loose it's not in properly and then at that point you can put the cover on boot the computer up and it should install automatically